Hey, what is going on traders? This is Chris at Verilo Trading. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a futures trading mobile application. This application is called Iron Beam App. This video is sponsored by Iron Beam App. And we're basically going to take a look at this application. I'm gonna run you through it. I'm gonna tell you what I think of it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And we'll just try to kind of mess around with it. Maybe we can break it or maybe it won't break. Let's see what happens, guys. So this video, you should be able to watch it full screen on your mobile device in portrait mode and uh, that will be handy if you're on some kind of a mobile device or a tablet. So we're already in the Iron Beam app here on our iPhone. The basic thing about this app is that it allows you to track quotes of what the market's doing anywhere on the go. It's all server side and you can log in, you know, basically anywhere as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection and you can basically keep track of what the market's doing. Try out the demo, it's gonna be in the link in the description. So again, my favorite thing about this app is that you can kind of follow quotes on the go and I like how it's tick by tick data and you can kind of see how the volume is coming in there. So if we just pay attention to, for example, on the third column there where we see volume slash open interest, you can see that is the live tick by tick data for the S&P 500 E-mini futures and for all of these symbols that are being traded right now. So on this particular quote board, we've got crude oil, E-mini S&Ps, natural gas, NASDAQ futures, Russell 2000, and then four treasury bond futures. So that's our current quote board. And you can select add symbol down there. And we'll, you know, you can type in the symbol if you want, or there's categories for different symbols. Now, also what I like about this app is that I found that it is very quick. It's not um, very laggy. I'm sort of a millennial. And for me, when things operate slow or when there's any kind of hiccup or hesitation, I go absolutely freaking bonkers. So what I've noticed with this app is that generally it's very fast. So that's always good to know. I try to open it at random times in the day and um, every now and then you might notice you'll get something like it just doesn't load for whatever reason. That normally is because they're doing some uh, server maintenance. So if you do open it after hours, sometimes you can find that it might not open because they're doing server maintenance and they do the server maintenance on the demo server. The demo server has a separate server from the live account, okay? So on this particular app, I'm on a demo account. So this is connected to their demo servers. So. I brought up this menu by tapping on the top left of the screen, and here you can see basically the settings window for this application. For example, we have the settings, I'll tap on the settings, and this is gonna be all the settings you can um, work with. And in this case, you can actually set the speed of the quotes you wanna see. By default, you'll be getting it somewhere around here. I've tried to put it on the maximum speed, and I've also compared this with other data feeds, and I found that the tick-by-tick -tick data is very accurate and precise. So that's always good to know. I mean, you know, you wanna be making sure you're getting accurate data. What we can do is look at the different widgets that are available in this application. So the way I got here was I pressed on the plus icon right there and I'll tap on that. And basically these are the widgets that are available. So I already demonstrated to you the cool board. The depth is sort of like it's a trading DOM basically. So I'll add in a trading DOM. I'll put in a symbol. Let's select ES June contract for front months. You can see how it all operates very fast. And we can see now we have this sort of trading DOM showing us 10 levels of market depth for this market. We can see the market depth over there on the left and the number of orders making up the market depth. So pretty interesting. And uh, we can also do you know one click trading. So if I do tap on a specific price, if I tap on the ask column, I can place a limit sell order at that particular price. And I will now submit that order. I'll submit another one just for fun. And I'll also just cancel them as well, just to kind of show you the process of that. Now, of course, one click trading is supported. In this case, I think I had it. So it's going to show me an order confirmation. But of course, you can always do one click trading where the orders get submitted right away. And they support strategies like bracket orders and all of that. Okay, so you can trade directly from this. Um, but like I said, you might be on CQG or Teton order routing. So in that case, you can still use this app to see your account balance and to track the markets on the go. So you know, for me, that's the number one thing. That's how I use this app personally. Okay, so we'll look at some of the other widgets here. Uh, we already looked at the depth the quotes, alerts, fills, account details, you can see there's your account balance and any margin balances that you have. And you can show it in combined futures or in USD cash. We'll go out of that. Order book would be any orders that are working in the market or orders that have already completed. So in that case, we can see our two orders that we submitted and then canceled and all the details associated with those. 
Um, the charting in this app is pretty good. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's pretty decent. I mean, you know, if you just need to see the price action on, you know, certain time frames like 15 minute or one day chart, this is going to be absolutely fine. You can get any symbol you want for keeping track of things on the go. This is, I think, all you need. I don't really think it's necessary to put a whole bunch of complex indicators on the chart, but again, everybody's different, right? So in order to find the list of indicators that are available in this platform, we can start on one of our charts, then tap on the top right corner where we have the little crayon icon, and we'll tap there. This is the menu where we can also add a chart or change the symbol of a particular chart here. And we can also add formulas right there. So we will select add, and here we can see the list of available formulas in the platform and we will add one by tapping on it. And then we have the parameters and the display format for this particular formula. And um, once you're ready with that, you can simply choose save. And now it will show in your list of formulas, save it again, and it will appear on the chart. Um, so you can see here, we're cycling through a few different symbols that we had added um, through tabs on the bottom of our chart there. Again, I like how it loads things pretty fast. Okay, so there's ZB, we'll go to one day chart. All right, and you know what, why not? Let's just add another symbol to that. Let's add gold GC. Honestly, I'm not a gold trader, so I don't even know what the front month is. Let's just guess that it's May and add that in building chart. And I imagine this is a one minute chart because there's no volume going through. It might not even be the front month. I switched it to a daily and here we are. All right, so we'll go back. And uh, just to note, this is the advanced version of the app. So there's actually two versions. So if I go over to the settings window, you can see there, it says change demo type, I'll select that. And the standard version, which I'll show you now, is basically a sort of a simplified version of everything I just showed you. So we have four tabs here on the standard version where we have a watch list, order fills, order book, and account details. And in our watch list, we can add symbols and we can also view a chart for those symbols um, via that little chart icon there. If I tap there, it'll bring up a chart for the symbol. And there are buy and sell buttons at the bottom of this chart. So if you wanted to submit a particular order, you can do that. In that case, I submitted an order and the order also had been filled. And now it should tell me that I'm long one contract. There you go at the top of the screen. It tells us we have a position of one contract and our profit and loss on that contract. Now to get out of this, I will select the sell button and just simply submit some kind of a sell limit order and it was filled in general. Now, one thing I will tell you guys about the demo environment for this app is that I found that is not very accurate uh, in the sense that orders just get filled. There's no sort of accurate queue position tracking and you can also test this out yourself. I'm not sure if they are looking to improve that feature at all, but just for your own knowledge, it's um, not the best demo trading environment, but that's, you know, the way it is. So we'll go back to the advanced tab here. And guys, I think that's going to cover it for this video, you know, so there's the RMB mobile app, definitely a great app for keeping track of quotes on the go with your futures markets, CME is supported fair exchange, and I think other exchanges are also supported. So we'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye.